Hello, my name is Colin Riddington and today I'm going to show you a very simple way that you can limit the number of records that one of your users can enter on a form. And for more details on this topic, please go to my website https isleofdogs.co.uk limit records. OK, let's look at the example database. Now in this database we've got a form and subform arrangement. The main form is based on a table which has got customer details and sale date and the sale details table actually governs then the subform. And these obviously are linked together in the standard way there. We've also got one other table and the other table there has the number of records, the maximum records that are, only, are going to be allowed. I'm going to set that as 5 per sale ID. Let's go back to the form then. And on the very first record then we've got three records so far, so there's another two allowed, five being the maximum, and therefore we can add a new record. Go to the second one, two records, again we can add more, three records can add more, four records still can add one more. Go to the fifth one and you'll notice now that it's actually not allowing me to add anything new to it there. Let's go back to the beginning then. So if I want to, I can add anything I want to to the race doesn't really matter what I enter there and we can add extra records there. Let's go to the fourth one here where we've got four records at the moment and let's add some weed killer to that. Now you see then it's the fifth record, it's allowing me to enter that but as soon as I come out of that record you'll notice then that the new line has disappeared. It no longer allows additions to that. And we go to the fifth one and it's already at that state so we can't actually do that. The only way we can get extra records to be added is if we delete something that's already there. So if we delete that one and now we get back and we can add another one again if we want to do so. So how does this work? Very simple. The subform just contains one relevant piece of code and that's in the form current event. The first thing we do is we make sure that we save anything that's been entered in case it hasn't already been done so. Once we get past that we check whether there is a sale ID and we do that to avoid an error in the following line and then we say right let's see whether allow additions are set to be true or false. So allow additions will be true in other words, we can add new records if the number of records for that particular sale ID is less than the maximum records allowed. However, if it's not less than, in other words, it's equal to it, then allow additions will no longer be possible. And so therefore it's set as false and the form becomes locked in any new additions. Delete a record, that then becomes true again. Now, obviously, at this stage here we've, we've got five records on there we can alter that let's change that to six and when we do so instantly we won't see any change occur but when we actually move to that record I could have refreshed in a different way we now see the new line again all very simple as I said something you can easily implement on your own forms and to do that all you need to do is to actually store that information there if you prefer, however, you don't want to have a separate table for this, you don't want to have users able to edit that on the form, then you can just change that to a hard-coded number in there and remove this control from your form completely. That's all for today, and as always, thanks for watching. If you, like, if you found the useful, please let, add a like, leave comments, do subscribe, and I'd be very grateful for any topics for future videos. Thank you, I'll see you soon.